Matthias, watching the episode, I had the feeling that your character uh, revisit the classic concept of masculinity uh, in Western genre. What do you think about that? that? that, that my character what? Um, revisit the classic concept of masculinity in Westerns. Do you, do you agree with that? Well, uh, I don't know if it revisits it. I, th I think, yeah. I think the depiction of masculinity uh, throughout history has, has, has had many forms. And, may and maybe that now we, we got to a point where it, it's, it has a more 360 uh, rendition of it. Because I think, because uh, people often refer to, oh, because this character allows a certain fragility to, to, to be mm -hmm. shown and, and, and that. Uh, but I think... The human heart is the human heart. So I think men also were fragile 200, 300 years ago. They probably didn't show it, or, or but they felt it. Uh, so are, are we revisiting or reimagining or reinventing something? Uh, we're definitely not reinventing the human heart, but maybe the rendition or, or the, the way we talk about it or the way we express it maybe. Yes. Yeah. In uh, Django, women uh, plays a central role in the, in the storytelling, and it um, haven't always been like that. Um, in your opinion, what has changed? What led this um, evolution to happen? In yeah, I th I mean, in the classical Western, I feel like what I noticed is that most of the female characters were the ones who needed to be rescued by the male cowboys, mm -hmm. and they are always like a secondary part. They weren't really layered. They were very beautiful, and they were like worth protecting but they never really protected them or weren't able to protect themselves. And we kind of took a different take on that and we have characters, female characters, who stand up for themselves and who fight themselves and they're not leaning on men to help them. And mm -hmm. that's, I think, a very new dynamic that I haven't seen much in Westerns before. Um, but there's also just like the basic, just the the writing of the show in general, that every character, no matter what gender, is a layered character with a very specific past and very specific motivations, where they want to go and where they come from. Mm -hmm. Uh, New Babylon is a place for people who want to be uh, free and live equally. But we live in a world that is falling apart because of wars or economical gaps. In your opinion, how can we um, start to build our New Babylon? Hmm. Yeah, that's a big question. <laughs> um, but I think in the end it's about believing that it's possible. I think that's what drives Sarah and John, that they really truly believe that there is a better world than there is right now. And then taking action and being involved and, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it starts on the smallest level, because mm -hmm. I truly believe micro is macro. And I think it starts with the with the one-on-one -on -one interaction between people it's, it's just and it starts with truly paying attention to the other and recognizing yourself in the other and, mm -hmm. and and recognizing the similarities in each other's existence and 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 understanding that we're all carrying some type of cross and sometimes even the same cross and just help each other carry it on the smallest level and eventually uh it, it will it will reshape the, the the bigger picture thank you so much for your time thank, thank you, you. Thank you.